got a problem. Blocked hydrant. Oh, hell no. Everything is under control. Let's go. Thank you. Tanner speaking. Red zone applies to everyone. Red zone is a region that is dangerous or forbidden, or in which a particular activity is prohibited. It can also mean the danger level on a gauge or other measuring device. For example, an air tank is equipped with a gauge that signals when the pressure reaches a dangerous level. The third meaning of red zone is in American football, if a team gets the ball within 20 yards of the goal line, it's in the red zone since it's more likely that they will score. Little old ladies, cops, bomb squad. Bomb squad is a division of a police force assigned to defuse explosive devices. <laughs> but what is a squad? Squad is a small group of people trained to work together as a unit. You are keeping him alive. Your hand is keeping Mr. Carlson from bleeding out. Right. And, and the bomb squad is coming. The bomb squad is coming. Okay. I wasn't really looking forward to this night, but I had a blast. Well, call the bomb squad. Because with the blast I had, that makes two blasts. <laughs> B.I. CIA Wait. Homeland Security way. Fire Department. Anyone escaping the apocalypse? Apocalypse is an event resulting in great destruction and violent change. According to the Bible, the apocalypse represents the end of the world. In this book, there is a vision of a future in which there will be a nuclear apocalypse. What's happened in your past? Pain. Death. Apocalypse. None of it fun. Wherever he ruled, eventually it would end in disaster. Cataclysm. Some kind of apocalypse. The end of the world. And then God, are you God? Because if not... Really? Oh, I needed to hydrate. You weren't around. I was around, literally down the street evacuating people. Literally. We use it in two ways that are opposite one another. Which makes sense for why it's such a difficult word to understand and use. The first way is in a literal way. Or actually. Or in a literal sense, not figuratively. Not metaphorically. The second way that we use literally is almost completely opposite of the first way. And we use literally to exaggerate things or add emphasis. I know you're confused. So let's put it into context for you. I literally had no idea you and Jane were coming. This literally means he really had no idea his friends were coming. No exaggeration. No metaphor. He was literally millions of miles ahead of the other runners. Compared to the other runners, he was much further ahead. But, it is absolutely not millions of miles ahead. It's impossible. So this is a kind of exaggeration. Here, literally is used to emphasize the exaggeration. With the iPhone, you can literally store thousands of pictures. You can really store thousands of pictures with your iPhone. So literally is used to emphasize the statement is true. It's literally pouring cats and dogs. Though, it's raining very heavily. 
it's not literally raining cats and dogs. Here, literally is used to emphasize the description. I was literally a college professor. Do you not remember one single thing about me? That's right, ma'am. But, but nobody understands the economy. Literally, nobody. Not literally. And then I think we lose three or four states in Congress just, just like that. She literally makes me work harder. She makes me smarter. She makes me remember why I'm here. <laughs> I haven't been to a gum and book store in literally a million years. Literally, literally a million years. Your car was blocking the water source we need to fight the fire. I can't just ignore a call to help. I don't expect help. you to ignore it. I expect you to watch where you're parking when you answer it. You gave me no time. I called. To gloat. To tell you. To Gloat can be used as a verb or a noun. Being a verb, it means to feel or show much pleasure because of your own success or good luck or because of someone else's misfortune. As a noun, it means an occasion when you gloat about something. Beware of the preposition used with gloat. Over. About. At. Now he is able to gloat over being right. Tom would trick his customers into buying polyester sweaters labeled as cashmere, and then gloat about how easy it was. His enemies were quick to gloat at his humiliation. You do not get to laugh, and you do not get to gloat. Why would I gloat? I have poison. What? Coming to gloat about all of our misfortunes. The restaurant, Eddie. Oh. My. God. How dare you gloat at this! What'd you expect? I'm a lost cause, remember? Too late! You can't just ram my car! You can't just block my hydrant! This isn't- you- I'm telling my boss! Great, and I'm telling mine!